Yeah, student assistant gone. Anyway. So we got Grumpy, Connor. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> well, if we're going to be named dwarves. Then what's Snap. Connor? Dopey. You're welcome. Gee, then what am I? Stinky. Stinky's not one of the dwarves. Angry. Ooh. Is that the eighth dwarf we don't talk about? Angry. <laughs> so wouldn't that one be angsty then? <laughs> All of my life is no, a drama. Sissy. Yeah, that's what he said. I, I pointed. Yeah. Sorry. Angsty. <sighs> no, I think we know who Stabby is, but we're not going to get into that. Anyway, we're headed out of town. Driving an hour. And then we're driving an hour back. And you'll see what later. Why? In our next daily vlog. Oh, wait, no, sorry, <laughs> wrong video. <laughs> I started to say, you were watching uh, KK and Baby J this morning with me then. <laughs> yeah, so Anthony mowed part of, the lawn. part of the lawn. I did part of the other part. Actually, I did quite a bit, but then Connor finished it up for me. Um, I taught him how to do it. Xander tried, but he kept killing it. Dude, we're barely doing 45 on a 55. Well, you know, these are very dangerous conditions out here. I mean, it's bright, it's sunny, the it's sky's dry. clear, dry pavement. Wait, why are we doing this speed? <laughs> anyway, so between, I guess technically the four of us, uh, we got the lawn done. But that lawn, what was mid-calf? Yeah. I kept saying we were going to do it, but then we'd get busy and not do it. So it was one of those kind of situations. Hey, bug guts. I know he smells minty. Does it smell minty to you? A little bit. Okay. Anyway. That's what happened to that mouthwash. <laughs> Could you wash windows with mouthwash? It has alcohol in it. It would work. Anyway. Mix in some vinegar. Mm -hmm. Ugh, might smell awful. Anyway, so we got it done, but it was like heck of tall, so it kept killing the mower. And I got a creeper in the background. Did you just say hecka? Yeah. He does not approve of He's no. like, he should be judgy. Should be or shouldn't be. That's the dwarf he should be. Should be or is. He's very good. Yeah. Should have seen the woman in the ER last night. Oh my god. Every time someone walked by, even if they worked there, the dirtiest look. She was just like in a bad mood. Like RBF or? Yeah. Okay. No. No? No, Can I don't think one? so. I don't know. No. I don't think she did. Uh, like, well, I guess she could, but she, the, wor the looks got worse anytime anyone walked by her. Even for me, who um, they registered me, took me in, so she wasn't there until I came out of uh, pre-check-in because they did the EKJ on me last night. Yeah. Um, and so they took me into another room and then I had to wait for a room in the back and um, then I discovered she was there and I noticed when I first sat down because we were sitting across from her, they redid the uh, room again the waiting room so there isn't the makeshift ones on the side half the ones over by where we were that one time are gone um, like 
the tables there, but not the line of chairs. Um, and so I noticed when I sat down, it was just a nasty look. But then that girl you know that worked at Walmart, she walked by and just the a nasty look. I was just like, man, you're just in a bad mood. Anyway, so, yes, I ended up having to go in last night because every time I stood, mind you, it wasn't anything strenuous. My heart rate would jump up to almost 120 beats per minute. And then resting, it was over 90. And I wasn't feeling good. And I had some symptoms of, well, I had two symptoms. And then I started to get a third while I was there, which was just nausea um, of the diverticulitis. And then Anthony got mad at me because I didn't tell him about one of them because I had had that one all day. Uh, my neck. So, of course, they wanted to do a bunch of tests. Also tests laying down, sitting up, and standing. Uh, for my blood pressure and that one it just dropped or went up or no it went up 10 points nothing too too major um, so they had to do an IV so the one in my elbow here blue as soon as she put the needle into it which is usually my good one which that's a bad sign yeah and then this one ow this one really hurt he barely could get blood uh, i was talking to ashley about it because they were using a bigger needle they weren't doing a butterfly or maybe they were i know the first girl did anyway and so uh his needle really hurt and he was kind of searching. So I think I was dehydrated on top of it. That's believable. Well, I didn't finish that coffee. Remember? I handed it back. It wasn't what I wanted. I didn't even... I had to choke down the waffles and then I ate popcorn, some raisinets, and I think three nachos. They weren't that good to begin with. choking um so yeah his I was talking to her about how they have such trouble with my veins that they've done I call them the tiny wine bottles mm -hmm. where they have to do the one side and then the other side um I was like I had one time where it just instantly coagulated she's like don't tell me that and the one girl, she's like, I poked you once, I could do it again, but I'm not gonna. So she bowed out. Uh, so the guy, I was talking to Ashley, and she, I was like, yeah, if it's not blowing, it's right up against the wall, and so then it doesn't want to pull. And so he finally gets it in and can get a little bit out, and he goes, and that's exactly what it's doing, so we're not putting anything else there. And then he pulled out, and I was like, wow, you had really had to make that one hurt. I swear he was trying to push his thumb to my bone. It was just really tender. And then he wrapped it. And then the pregnant nurse I had. Um, they got rid of them all. They got rid of them all? Yeah, when James said he took over, it, it won't let me connect Google to it anymore. So I lost everything. You, you did it through Facebook. And if you're just starting over, you have to get, you have to do it for so long first. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll get it back. It just makes you go through all of that BS first. Yeah. Anyway, and so um, we were talking and I was telling, Ashley's like, you can't hit this one. And I was like, 
no. I was like, any other time I'd make a pregnant nurse go out, but it's not a, my staph infection right now. I was like, you can't get diverticulitis. And I've had like a um, general member, you've been there, if they were pregnant, they weren't allowed in my room. Yeah. And so, which doesn't bother me. Might have the first time, but I don't want anyone to get what I have, let alone a pregnant woman. Anyway, so she did the one right uh, at my heart, on my arm, because that really sounded like my hard heart. And, uh, That'd be a hard target. I was like, oh, is she searching? She's like, no. And I was like, oh, then the advance hurt. She's like, yeah, that one I don't doubt. I did feel like she had to pull back and uh, advance a little more at one point. Mm -hmm. So then she drew the blood and, she, and I was like, you still have to do the tiny wine bottles. She's like, yeah, but I'm going to do an infant size for you. She goes, it'll give, give the same results. And so my inflammatory markers were high. My white blood cells were good, which they're always good. It's just my blood always shows that there's an infection which I told him and then he's like and a CT and I was like I would rather you not do a CT I've had so many already since I got the staph infection I've had probably over 20 in five years with contrast I was like and I was telling Ashley I was like I'm already super white and glow in the dark if they keep this one up I'm going to have radiation and I'm going to glow for different reasons. And she was asking, she was like, why do you not want to? And I was like, it just, oh, when I told you, it just ups my marker for cancer. Having, um, being radiated so often. Well, it also depends on the dosage they give you too. Well, I don't... It's the machine. It's not the medicine. No, no, no. I understand oh. that. What I'm talking about is they can actually hit you with a low dose. I think CT is the... Well, besides x-ray, is probably the lowest one. Well, yeah, because all CT is is basically a bunch of x-rays just at different angles. Well, deeper. They can see things that x-rays can't see. And then MRIs can see things that CT can't see and X-ray really can't see. What was that? Who stepped on the Chihuahua? She's still in a bad mood. No, she's still in a bad mood. She's got her earphones in too. Headphones. Whatever. She still has the toad. She could be the rude dude with the toad the whole way there. Yeah. So. I explained to him why I didn't want it. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Some random guy come in. He's a nurse, not that random. Gives me a uh, gown. Tells me. And it took me like 40 minutes to realize what he said. Anything that contains your, uh, take your shirt, your bra, your panties off, the pants can stay anything that has metal in it and I was like well I'm wearing a sports bra so I'm keeping my sports bra on I was like he goes doctors want to do an x-ray I'm like what would I get an x-ray for so 40 minutes later I look at Ashley and I was like why would I take off my underwear and then keep my pants on no because I was wearing sweats, I knew I was going to the ER. I'm not going to fancy it up or be uncomfortable. I was already uncomfortable in jeans. So I looked at her and she's like, he didn't say that. And she goes, he did say that. And I was like, why do I have to lose my underwear? I never got an x-ray either. I was like... We both went. He must have thought it was a different room. 
I was like, I mean, my mom had pneumonia and we thought she was having a panic attack until we found out she had pneumonia. Because we didn't know. She, we all just, and she even thought just having a panic attack. Yeah. So, I was like, do they suspect I have pneumonia? Anyway, so back to the doctor. So, he, uh, he goes, okay, so since you don't want a CT, I can meet you halfway. We can do the markers to see if we can see it in your bloodstream. If it's not, if this is the beginning of it, you kind of know the process. Um, you can... We can just look for markers for infection, and if there is, then we'll just treat as if it was diverticulitis. And I was like, okay. And so he met me halfway, and then he came in, and he, he told me the results. My white count was good, blah, blah, blah. And um, he... Uh, Um, so just wanted to scare him a little because he was doing that little weedy <laughs> thing anyway so and that had nothing to do with why I didn't feel good anyway so uh, he was like diverticulitis lowered controlled GI bleed and I was like okay and then this one which is where the IV is going in and almost all of the bag is gone. Mm -hmm. This one starts to kind of bow on the side and it hurts. And then just this part of my arm is cold. The rest of it's warm. And I was like, did you seriously just blow a vein? Yeah, it's still kind of puffed out. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking either the needle fell out of my vein, which I've had happen, or it blew. Then, I'm like nauseated, which is another part of the symptoms, but I, and then I realized I had waffles for breakfast. I had some popcorn, which we're waiting to see if that one's going to bite me in the butt. I, uh, the prescriptions are at home. Um, I have meds on hand, those two for the diverticulitis. Anyway, so, um, I know, I know, and I meant to grab them, I don't know why I forgot. Anyway, so, uh, I realized I haven't really eaten since breakfast, and then I realized I hadn't drank anything either. I was like, well, that's good. I was like, so the heart rate could be due to dehydration. And yesterday, would we get to 73? We didn't get very high. Well, yesterday, like today, is a nice day. So that means my body can't handle any amount of heat now because that that's nothing. We have the house open. Um. <laughs> And it was cool. I was under a blanket most of the day. Froze at the movie theater because I forgot my jacket after making sure it was in the car. Um, so it wasn't any big deal, but I'll just have to watch how much water I'm drinking, or in this case, not drinking.
and finally messages me that she'll be uh, reverence. Smells like onions. Um, <laughs> and so I'll add her to the list. I just like to have people on hand in case I do need them. <sighs> Yeah, once again, that's why I ask and have four or five that I know I can use as a reference. I knew if push come to shove, we could use Mark. Mom's on there. <laughs> but I laughed because we have Walla Walla, Milton Free Water, Turlock, Mustang. Oh, college place now. Oh, I have professional references. Whatever, show off. You're welcome. <laughs> and a couple of other doctors. Whatever. <laughs> Nobody likes you. That's why people don't like you, Anthony. Whatever. So I need the address. what I thought it was or if it was um, I slept wrong Jet. tripping Oh, now I do. Did you guys see the jet? It's got a trail. Yeah. She just told me to look for the trail. I was like looking. So what causes the trail? Uh, differential of either pressure or temperature. So you don't know. So you're not that smart, huh? <laughs> I have to get gas when we get into Hermiston. I have 172 miles, so. Do the greenhouse halt. What? You know the what? Oh. Well, depending on who you talk to, they're cam trains. Did Connor show you he was turned into a meme?
says that way is 22 minutes slower. That's a dead end. <laughs> Shouldn't it be a whole lot slower than that? Yeah, there might be a way through there. <laughs> no, it dead ends. I've been all the way to the back. I think everybody was before they were 10. 